Welcome back to Algo Trading Series using Pine Script from Market Secrets. This is episode 10 of the series and in this episode we are going to see how to identify candlestick patterns using Pine Script. So in this episode I will show you how to detect a basic candlestick pattern using Pine Script. We will focus solely on engulfing candles for now but the process involved in identifying them is similar for all other candlestick patterns such as pin bars, shooting stars, hammers, dojis, higher high, higher close, lower high and lower low candles. If you are inexperienced with Pine Script and if you haven't gone through the previous episodes of the Pine Script series, then I highly recommend that you do that first. Otherwise, let's get started. So, Candlestick basics. There are four built in Pine Script variables we have to work with in order to detect candlestick patterns the open price, the close price, the high, and low. So these are the four parameters or variables that we need to work with in order to identify the candlestick pattern or detect the candlestick pattern. Using these four variables, we can determine if a candle meets the criteria to be called as a certain pattern, such as an engulfing candle. The example here, for example, right, so if you take this particular candle, this is a clear engulfing. And if you look, look at here, this is also a clean engulfing candle. So if you look at these examples, right, these are simple engulfing candles which can be plotted and detected using the simple open high and low close parameters. We call this as an engulfing pattern because the close of this red candle is below the open price of the green candle available here. So if you zoom in right, so you can able to see it very clearly. So this particular red candle had completely engulfed or covered this green candle. That's why we call it as an engulfing pattern. So this particular candle engulfing, right? So this is a sign of huge weakness. So this indicates a huge bearish signal. But if this pattern occurs in the opposite direction, that is a bullish engulfing pattern, then it is a sign of potential bullish strength. So if you look at here, this can be considered as a bullish engulfing pattern. Then in that case, right, it is a sign of huge bullish sign or a positive sign. This simple pattern when used in conjunction with the market and indicator conditions and filters can make for a highly accuracy entry for almost any strategy. So we now know which variables we need to work with which are open, close, high and low to detect these engulfing candles. In case of a bullish engulfing candle, the candle completion must close at the higher price than the previous candles open price. Just like in this particular picture. In Pine Script, we could detect this candle condition with simple one-liner code. So let's write it. So I'm going to write close is greater than open of one. So open of one represents previous candles open, close represents current candle close. So if the current candle closes above opening of the previous candle, that's what we are validating here. So this condition will check if the current candle's closing price is greater than or equal to previous candle's opening price. But for engulfing candle, the previous candle must have also be closed in red. For example, if you are looking for bullish engulfing, the previous candle should have been a red candle. So that is another check that you need to do. So for that you need to write one more line of code. So I'm writing close of 1 is less than open of 1. So previous candles close is less than previous candles open. So this indicates this is the red candle. So this will confirm whether the previous candle was a red candle. So now we need to put both of these together. So I'm going to add an uncondition here and I'm going to assign it to a variable bullish engulfing candle equal to this thing so it's that simple now we have a parameter which holds all the bullish engulfing candles there are multiple variations of engulfing candles such as higher high 
or higher close engulfing candles and if you want to check for higher high engulf you can change the word open one so instead of using the opening price in this particular script you need to change this to high so for example right some people will consider it is an engulfing candle if it engulfed the high of the candle and some for some people it needs to just engulf the opening of the candle so it depends on people to people how they use this engulfing pattern so currently we use only candle close and not the you know wicks but if you want to use the wicks that is highs and lows then you need to change the script for example instead of open you need to give high so that's up to you on how to use this particular uh, strategy so now let's come back to the script so in the script this bullish ec this particular variable will turn true if the current candles closing price is higher than the previous candles opening price and the previous candle was bearish so likewise we need to create another variable that is bearish ec which will turn true if the current candle's closing price is lower than the previous candle's opening price and the previous candle was a bullish green candle. So we just need to, you know, write one more line of code to detect the bearish engulfing candles. So I'm going to change this as bearish engulfing candle. And now you need to check whether the closing price is less than opening price of the previous candle and closing price of the previous candle is greater than opening price of the previous candle so this ensures the previous candle was a green candle so with these two variables we can now detect the basic engulfing candles now you can simply plot this to your chart so for that you need to use the plot code so i'm going to go with plot shape and you need to use this bullish engulfing candle that you have taken and for this you need to give some title i'm marking it as long so when we get a bullish engulfing pattern we'll get a note that we need to go long and the location where this symbol needs to be plotted so for the location i'm going to give location dot below bar so for bullish we will be uh, you know plotting the indicator below the engulfing candle so we need to give below bar and then you need to give the color so i'm adding on another parameter color so for that for bullish engulfing i'm going with green color and then you need to give style so for style i'm going to use shape as triangle shape dot triangle up so for bullish engulfing i'm using an upper triangle and for the text i'm using again long so i'm copying this once again and i'm just going to change this for bearish engulfing so it should be short and this should be above bar so if it's a bearish engulfing we will be plotting the symbol above so if it's a bullish we'll be plotting it below so it's for easy uh, or aesthetic look right so we are going for this particular option and uh, for color for the bearish engulfing should be red instead of green and instead of upper triangle we are going to go with down triangle so that's it now you have an indicator that will detect the counter trend setups based on the engulfing pattern now you can add some more conditions to it like rsi or macd to generate a confirmation signal so that it can be developed into a full-fledged trading strategy so now let's add this to the chart so if you look at here this will spot all the engulfing candles that we have in the chart so like i mentioned this can be used only as a study for now and if you want this to be developed into a full-fledged trading strategy you need to add some confirmation signals to it so that it can be developed into a full-fledged trading system so with that we have come to end of today's episode if you have any queries comments or feedbacks about this episode or this series in general please leave it down in the comment section we'll be happy to answer it also check out our website www.marketsecrets.in for various data feeds strategies and and other learning series hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful it will really motivate us to do more for you also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye